I'm Stephanie Quayle, and welcome to a little uh, live with Stephanie Quayle. We are drinking for a cause tonight, uh, one very near and dear to my heart, uh, Care Camps and Bar Wines. We all teamed up, and this is awesome. So I have some wine. Well, I guess I did that. Sorry. Which way I went, went to the wine with it. Uh, anyhow, I have some wine to uh, try tonight, and we're going to share some music all for a great cause. So 10% of any of the wine you buy tonight all goes toward care camps. So this wine is brand new to me. I'm so excited to try some of it. So I think it's only fitting as a country artist that I just go ahead and open up one of these bottles and give you guys an idea of like what, you know, what's going on over here. So let's just see here. Ooh, let's see. I know I kept looking at this one earlier. I want white, I think I want to try. Do you like my setup? We're in my barn right now, friends. Uh, this one's called, I'm gonna probably uh, not say the name perfectly, but Tempranillo. Tempranillo? Tempranillo. Ooh, it looks beautiful. I love Spanish wine. Okay, uh, and also, fun fact about me, is that when I did my uh, my genetic testing, I had a little Spanish descent. So this is awesome. And I just happened to have my handy dandy wine glass right here in my barn set up. It's great to see everybody. Thank you for watching. So I always like to smell it first. Is anyone else doing that? Mm. Don't don't judge my wine glass right now, guys. We're in a barn. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. So what I love with a brand new wine is that uh, is when you just taste it, you don't know any detail on, like I, I got a bunch of information, I just want to go off of like a first, first taste, I'll let you know about this one. Mmm. Well, that's good. Okay, guys. So for anyone who's a fan, oh, that's great, uh, of red. This one, Tempranillo, Vino Tinto España. I spent, I don't know actually. Here, hold on, I'm gonna get closer so you guys can see the label of this one. I strongly suggest this one if you love reds. Uh, it's really great. And remember, any wine that you buy tonight, the link is in the description. 10% goes towards care camps. And if you are not familiar with care camps, let me share with you an organization that is doing such tremendous, awesome work for our kiddos. So Care Camps is not for profit. And what it is essentially is you get to um, send these kiddos that might be dealing with different, you know, uh, you know, from cancer to different ailments, and they get to be with kids that are dealing with the same stuff and just be kids and really enjoy the outdoors and take it all in and uh, with all these specialists and counselors that are there for them. So they get an entire week at camp where they just get to be kids. And I think that, you know, we are seeing the importance of really taking care of our littles and making sure that they're, they feel strong, not only on the outside, but up here. And uh, care camps provide such a safe environment for these kiddos. Also to just get to, you know, not have to explain what's going on with themselves, you know, not having to explain like, because every other kid there knows exactly what they're going through, uh, not to mention the counselors and everyone else. So it's, it's really incredible. And uh, I can't wait to get back out on the road so I can go be a part of uh, some of the care camps and just uh, get to visit them and it's uh, it's really special. So I strongly encourage you that if you can, please spend your wine for a great cause, spend your money for great wine for a great cause. Um, so this is really awesome. So VAR has been hosting these um, virtual concerts, just supporting organizations and small businesses. And this is, this is a perfect example of, you know, taking a really interesting time and making magic with it and doing great work. So I'm gonna play y'all song and then uh, maybe we'll try another wine. So no kidding, we are in my barn. 
And when I say we're in my barn, we are in my, my barn with all my creatures. And um, the creatures are actually outside right now because they would be really loud. So I have a, a water bucket with ice in it because this one, this is a Silverhead Brut Rosado. And it's a, um, it's a sparkling wine. It's a rosé sparkling wine. So who's ready to brunch? This looks amazing. So uh, I might have to you know, save that one for Sunday. But I still have it ice, on ice just in case. Just in case. So these are awesome. So it's What You're Drinking About Wednesday. And what a great way to come together, uh, play some music, and um, share in a great cause. So if you guys have any comments, actually, let me just scroll up, make sure I haven't missed any. Um, awesome, awesome. So yeah, so I'm using my um, my steps, which I used to get up on a horse, as my wine display. And I have a water bucket as my, um, what do you call these, the, the ice holders? Call it the ice holder. And I've got another little step holding some wine glasses. So we are we are completely ready for all things. Laura, which is awesome. So why don't we start with the song that has made Wednesdays so much fun. Uh, what you drink about. This song is um, really just uh, making its way up the charts. I wrote this with a couple of dear friends of mine, Joey Bach and Ryland Fisher. And we're just so excited about um, all things that are happening with this song. And it's a, it's a lot of fun to uh, play and sing and uh, have a little glass of something with. So cheers, everybody. Here's to y'all. Uh, cheers. Cheers. And here's to Care Camps doing awesome work and uh, for uh, Vara meeting up with us and teaming up with us to do this super fun night where I just get to, you know, I'm just drinking wine and sharing stories and country music. Mm, 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 mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good stuff right there. So this is what you're drinking about. If you've not yet seen the video, um, sure, check it out. It's a, it's a lot of fun. And um, I want to make sure you guys are seeing a little sign here. It's closing time at the farm. So if you hear a bunch of, you know, trucks rolling out it's just one of those one of those kinds of night salud yes yes salud. love it this is what you drink about if my neck is red you're about three drinks in bar stool sitting with jack and jim together at lunch I'm just thinking loud. What 
what's your drink about? Now I'm pretty sure we all know what we're drinking about these days, but tonight we're drinking about care camps, right? What you drinking about? What you drinking about? <laughs> oh man, so much fun. Uh, for those that are just joining us, thank you guys so much for being a part of our virtual um, one up at home, also known as the barn, and uh, for an awesome organization called Care Camps. Uh, if you're not involved, get involved. Uh, again, just sharing that this is an organization that sends these kiddos that are dealing with such, so many things. Uh, for them to be able to go to a camp and just get to be kids, and uh, it's, it's really extraordinary. They get to be there for a week. I really, you know, have heard so many stories about the kids and they go and they keep going to the camps and then eventually like some of them become counselors and then go back it's like this thing, beautiful um pay it forward it's it's just i really can't wait to go to camp like i grew up going to camp and i just every time i i get to see the pictures and hear about these kiddos it's just it's really um it's really special so uh it's um oh, i just can't wait to get back out on the road so i can go see them all Hi Jennifer, hi Christine, hi Carly, hi Vara. This is um this is super super cyber awesome. Hello Christine Chaz. Uh, so um so yeah, man, do I try another wine? I think so. Okay, great. Put my guitar down. I just gotta know. Gotta know. Let's see what we got here. Like the setup, right? Like not bad for some chicken lights and a barn door and, you know, great wine makes everything better. Okay, let's see, let's see. Uh, see, in this, I'm gonna go for this one. I think this is a red bow, yeah, look at that, it's so beautiful. Uh, this one, I'm, again, if I'm just completely destroying the names, just teach me. But I always do it with an accent because I mean, it's so much fun. Garnacha Vino Tinto Español. Mm, 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 okay, all right. So here we go. Let's just see. I did bring multiple glasses so I would be able to try um, some more. So I'll let you know. So, so far we are like, just get them all. Just get them all, friends. Oh, it's such a pretty color. We should, maybe we should pour some much so I can share with friends. Friends meaning my family is we're quarantined together. Cheers, everybody. Oh, wow. That's really good, too. That's like a little, it's got like a little, um, like a little kick. A little kick on the end. I like it. Mmm. Garnacha. 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 I get this one too. If you like rides. Mm -hmm. mm. So I know there's all these rules where you like look at the legs and you swish and swirl. I'm just uh I'm just a I'm just a country kid. So I'm just tasting it like all of us taste things, which is we just taste them and we either like it or we don't like it. This is so delicious. Mm. Okay, all right. I'm acquiring some glasses filled with wine. I might, I might start pouring a little less so my family, if they're watching right now, are like, you better bring those bottles home from the barn. I have a barn stash though, to be sure. To be Sure. So feel free if you guys have any questions, uh, be sure to comment and um, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be here for a little bit longer. How about I play another song? That sounds like a plan. That sounds like a plan. So this one, this is pretty cool. So last night we were, so here, I'm, I'm in uh, North Carolina right now. Our farm is, um, in uh, Summerfield, North Carolina. It's called Summerfield Farms, and I've been out here for about the last month or so plus, 
and uh, just helping out any which way I can. And uh, we've been recording virtually, which is really wild and uh, something I've never done before um, like this. And we, uh, we were actually recording electric guitars. So I'm, I'm here in our farmhouse uh, in North Carolina. Our producers in her studio, uh, the guitar players in a different studio, like in their home studios, and then engineers in a different studio, and then our um, and our Christine's in a different. You know, so we were all in our places, different spots, and we're all being able to virtually record. And it's, I mean, I know that sounds as crazy as it sounds, and it's it is. It's pretty cool, but just find ways to do things. You know, you gotta figure out ways to do things differently, and. Um, then this is one of those songs. Uh, just love this one. And actually, you know, a little Spanish wine, a Western girl in a Southern barn. I mean, it kind of feels like this, doesn't it? This is Lone Ranger. Like I see the video, I write the song, because it's like this little mini movie. I cannot wait to uh, make a video for that one. All right, all right. How's everybody doing? You guys all have the link to where you can get these amazing wines. So be sure to stock up. I believe that uh, if you buy four or more bottles, free shipping, so get 10. Um, 
applause. <laughs> Thank you guys. Hi, hi. I love these. Uh, I love being able to see you guys while um, you know, I try not to look while I'm playing because I sometimes try to read while I'm lyricizing and then I say things like applause, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, and that would be terrible. Um, hello, Ella. Okay, so true story about me. I don't drink a lot of white wine. I'm gonna try this white wine. I wanna know because I know there's a lot of white wine drinkers out there and uh, you need to know. Okay. Abarim, no, I did it wrong. Aba, abarinho, no? I think I said that right. Let's see. Okay. Ooh, abarinho, no. Um, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm in, I'm in. Let's try this. Again, I need to go, I need to come visit in Albuquerque and we need to go through all the wines with the bar and I need to get all the pronunciations so the next time I'm like, you guys aren't laughing at me back there going, nope, she said it wrong. Mmm, ooh, okay. I'm like the strangest wine taster ever. It's honest. It's on, oh, thank you, Doug, that's right. Perfect. Ooh, look at how, okay, I'll, I'll take, I'll take less because I know family's already chiming in. Okay, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna switch. What'd you drink about Wednesday, guys? We've made it to Wednesday again. Mm. That's really nice. I know nothing about wine, clearly. Um, that's really nice. So it's not as dry as like a Chardonnay. I know like a Chardonnay is kind of drier. So this is not, this is not that. I, what would be great too, um, Vara, because you guys have the descriptions uh, of the three wines. If you can put those up too and just kind of share um, with everyone watching that I'm not doing very well, <laughs> except trying and drinking great wine. Mm, mm, mm. This is very cool. All in support of care. All in support of care guns. Okay, so hold on, Jessica. Um, thank you for. Um, and this is a cancer survivor and loves. Oh, that's incredible. Thank you for sharing that, Jessica. Um, I hope I get to meet your niece and you. And uh, it's really incredible. These, you know, just to have the opportunity and know that these camps exist. I think so many people don't even. You know, we don't think about that. Like we go run outside and we go camping and we go canoeing and we go doing all these things. And imagine these kids that are, you know, dealing with cancer and, and these things are so massive to have to like explain. And what I love about care camps is that they get to go and just be kids and just get to experience being a kid. And they have everything they need there in case they need whatever they need, but they really just get to, you know, be kids that are going through similar stuff. And, uh, and that's, um, that's really important. Uh, I've been working with care camps. I was trying to figure out what year I started with them. Um, gosh, like 17, 2017 the years are all a blur and, uh, I'm just a champion for everything that they stand for. And when it comes to littles, I would do anything for kiddos. So, uh, this is, what a, what a fun opportunity to raise money, but I, I do just ask if you can um, buy some wine. And 10% uh, and of the uh, proceeds are gonna go to care camps. And care camps, you know how much I just adore you and I would do anything to um, be at every single camp. Honestly, that's really what I wanna do. Uh, you know, it's, uh, I love action. I love being able to be, um, with all the kiddos. So I really look forward to when I can come be with the kids and care camps, be able to be, you know, where kids can go and be at camps. And I know this is all gonna, you know, come together and us all be together, but until then we can be virtual. And um, I'm really excited because I get to be a part of care camps, a virtual big weekend. I wanna get the date correct though, uh, because it's in May. So if you guys wanna know about that date, we'll make sure we post it. Um, I don't have the exact date in front of me and I don't wanna screw that up. But if anyone has the date, um, please post it. It's gonna be really special. 
and part of their um, big weekend. So how about I play another song? Does that sound good to you guys? Okay, so I've got a white, two reds. Mm -hmm. Okay, so of course, I mean, wine before brandy, very dandy. Is that, is that how it works? Um, this is, first of all, this bottle is so beautiful. This is um, Vars Fine Spanish Brandy. It's Solera Reserva, lot 0, 8, 1, oh, wait, <laughs> um, 0, 8, 1, 9. Uh, this is just, oh my goodness, I'm just going to read this to you because this is very exciting. Uh, our fine Spanish brandy is aged a minimum of three years in a Solera system of Spanish sherry barrels before being finished and bottled in small lots at our distillery in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And we will be there one of these days. Um, but really this bottle, okay, hold on, I'm gonna come in. I really want you just to see it because it's so pretty. And then look at that, okay. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna try this. Okay, oh yeah, love corks. There we go, perfect. That's the sound of awesome. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it sounds pretty, pretty perfect. And fortunately, I have one glass left. And I don't have a brandy glass, so I don't even know what a brandy glass looks like. It's a little one, right? Oh, wow. Okay. I'm going to just do a little, little baby taste because, you know. Wow, that's smooth and smoky. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna make some what you drink about cocktails with this puppy. Or maybe you don't make cocktails with brandy. Maybe you just drink brandy alone. For those that have the rules on brandy, will you please share with me? I'm gonna put my brandy here. I'm gonna play you guys another song before we um, sign off. So be sure to uh, go to all the links. You have all the information of all the places that you can get the wine and this extraordinary brandy. Uh, yeah, please, please, please. Okay, perfect. May 8th through 10th. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for posting that. Um, I want to make sure that I didn't have the wrong information. And sometimes I get my dates backwards. Like I, I don't know what that's called. It's like I do spoonerisms and dyslexia. It's like a combination of uh, a combination of situations when, you know, we're live and virtual and, uh, you know, anything could happen. Anything could happen. Okay. Do you can make cocktails or drink it by itself. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So I want to know the best brandy cocktail that I should try. And this is really, this, I mean, just, Delicious. This is my first time um, trying Far Wines. And so thank you guys. Wow. It's, I really, I can't wait to come visit. I love Albuquerque and um, this has been so much fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to um, finish this awesome time together with uh, one of my most precious songs, I would say, because uh, it hasn't been recorded yet. It's, um, it's brand new in the sense that it's, uh, you know, we've only played it out a little bit. And uh, the message of the song is what means the most because it's truly how I feel about every single person. Um, those that I've met and those that I have yet to meet and for those that I'll never meet. Uh, it's truly, um, it's, uh, I want the world for you. I think that is the best way to end off our uh, special Wednesday, our wine up at home slash barn. Um, it's, uh, it's just, uh, I think it's perfect. So that's what we're going to do. And please stay in, please stay in touch. And um, to all the flock of quail, our fan family, who is here and uh, who's been such great supporters of care camps for so many years. We're so grateful that you're hanging out and um, so much fun to introduce you to uh, Vara Wines. And yes, yes, I can't wait. That's gonna be it's gonna be a blast. Let me find my my little tools. I'm gonna take the rose home 
and I'm gonna save that for, I'm gonna save that for a little brunchy brunch. Brunch might be tomorrow though, you never know. I mean, during what I call spring clean, cleaning, like quarantine, brunch can happen on a Thursday, I think. So it is really, it is really delicious by itself. Um, Christine, yes, yes, you are not, not wrong. Um, yeah, okay, Elise, she's curious too about brandy cocktails. I really, I really know not. So if you guys have like something to share, we, we want to know it. And uh, again, I'm Stephanie Quayle. Thank you guys so much for uh, spending tonight together uh, for a great cause. And uh, be sure to stock up on all these extraordinary wines. 10% will go, um, go to care camps. And <laughs> Bar Wines calls brunch brunch. Done. I'm done. I'll be having brunch with this beautiful bottle of rosé. Silverhead Brut Rosado. Okay. Just get it because it's going to be amazing. Oh, yeah. This is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you guys again. And this is I Want the World for You. I hope your coffee's hot and strong. The bed is a short and the good was long. Yeah, I want the world. I want the world for you. Hope you smile when you dream at night. So go hell so you do goodbyes. Yeah, I want the world. I want the world for you. Hope you see the sun shining through the rain. Hope the mountains that you climb lead to a view. Tis your breath away. Hope you find peace in the valleys. Situations are all blue. Yeah, I want the world. I want the world for you. What you want and what you need wind up being the same thing. I want the world, I want the world for you. That you learn the first time from your mistakes, laugh till it makes you belly ache. I want the world, I want the world for you. Hope you see the sun shining through the rain. Hope the mountains that you climb lead to a view to chase your breath away. Hope you find peace in the valleys. The oceans are all blue. I want the world. I want the world for you. Take that map and pin it on the wall. No, my love reaches across it all. Cause I want the world, I want the world for you. I want the world, I want the world for you. I really do. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. We hope you've had a wonderful time. Uh, thank you again, Bar of Wines. Thank you for this whole um, just experience. And again, to the care camps, uh, to the families, to all of those that have contributed and given. It's just, um, it's, it's really spectacular. And uh, giving these kids the love of the outdoors and camping with just other kids, it's just, it's really special and uh, it's all taken care of by Care Camps. So again, get involved. Thank you. I'm Stephanie Quayle. Be sure to just get all the wines because I mean, there's just so much greatness here. And this brandy, okay, a brandy sidecar is a fabulous brandy cocktail. I will look into it. I will be posted on how that goes. You all have an amazing night. Thank you so much. Big hugs, big virtual hugs that is. <laughs>